right, welcome to day four of the vlog. Today we are at the Pokemon Center in Tokyo Central. There are about three or four Pokemon Centers in Tokyo, so we're currently at Tokyo Central. I'll pop it on the map on the screen so you can see where we are. It's just probably a 10 minute walk from the Tokyo Central Station. It's not the big mega Pokemon Center, we're gonna to go to that later in the series, but here we are, Pokemon Center, as you can see behind me, the wall we got the new starter Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. If we turn around, we've got the older generation, and then we've got the, some of the original ones, Charmander's over at the back. Let's get straight inside. This is gonna be absolutely incredible, son. Come with us and uh, let's go. First thing you say. <laughs> so there's a Pokemon cafe over there, which we can't get into. It was impossible to get a reservation. So we're gonna head into Pokemon Center. Yeah. Oh, the start of Pokemon. And Scarlet and Violet. So as you can see, the store is massive and there's a fair few people here, but it's not too busy that we can't enjoy ourselves. So we're gonna show you guys around. It's like a childhood dream for a lot of people coming here. So I'm very grateful that we're here. Really just, I don't know, the stuff. <laughs> Obviously it's nearly Christmas, so there's a lot of Christmas Pokemon. There is plushies on plushies. And everything you could imagine. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I know, we're gonna have to get a big suitcase. We're gonna have to get a really big suitcase. Look how big they are! Look at them all. How cool. Pokemon and pasta. It's got a clip on it too. <laughs> Which What's the shapes of it? Oh yeah, on the back. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the biggest Pokemon Center in Tokyo. This one's actually quite small. Yeah. <laughs> this is the coolest plushie ever. But he's 150 bucks roughly. We're gonna get another coin purse. Coin purse. This sounds so weird. For our uh, coins, go along with Winnie. Oh my goodness. Stuff for the young ones, that is just unreal. Look at the, look at the Pikachu here. Got candy. Food, lollies. Sure, eh? That in a nutshell is Tokyo Central. Those ones are. We got a few things we can't show you what we got because they're Christmas presents. Show. <laughs> Sick oh yeah, we have to play it. It's 300 yen. We got 300 yen here. Yeah, Which one do we want though? Which one? Good <laughs> work. Uh, it was empty, so we got nothing. <laughs> She's fixing it up here. We got so hyped to open up our first little bowl and it was completely empty, so we have to wait now to get them to refill the machine and we'll get one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Round two. Here we go. We got something. Here we go. What is that? <laughs> it's like a little hedgehog. I want to be the very best. So that ends our first journey at Pokemon Center Tokyo DX. But there are plenty more Pokemon Centers in Tokyo, which we will try our best to get to. We're definitely going to go to the mega one. Now it's time to get some lunch. We couldn't get in the Pokemon Cafe. It was almost impossible to get a reservation. That sucks, but you know, we got a little gift bag here. We've got a heap of stuff. Heap of goodies, a lot of Christmas presents. So, how's the vibes walking down to Tokyo? Like, it's so tall everywhere. So tall. Goodness me. Look at that. Just hanging on the side of the building, cleaning the windows. I could not do it, honestly. This is Tokyo Central Station over here, and there are just skyscrapers everywhere. This is what it's like 
in Tokyo Station and is absolutely shot the block. And this is pretty much how it is every second of the day. They have all the uh, models of the food, so you get to see what you are ordering before you head into the restaurant, which is absolutely incredible. This looks amazing, and so does that. There's a massive piece of pork. As you can see here, it's only $15, wasn't it? Which is really, really cheap. And the other one that we showed you is only 13, roughly 13 Oz, which is incredible for a main meal at a restaurant. All right, it's now four in the afternoon. We're heading to Akihabara. We spent the day at the Pokemon Center and getting the JR Pass and stuff for the next couple of days. We're gonna head out to Mount Fuji. We're gonna go to Osaka. We're probably gonna go to Hiroshima as well. So we're heading to Akihabara. If you don't know what that is, it's like manga, anime, arcade games, all that fun stuff, colorful stuff, all the shit I love, man. One Piece, hopefully. We're, lo we're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. We're looking for One Piece stuff. We're looking for Pokemon stuff. So this is gonna be a great time. Let's get on the train and let's go to Akihabara. Welcome to Electric Town in Akihabara. We are here now. There's gonna be a lot happening tonight, so I cannot wait. This is everything I've ever dreamed of in a in a city. I love this stuff, so come along with this. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of cool stuff to look at. Okay. It's gonna be fun. I'm starting my Akihabara journey off with a 9% from a 196. This is gonna be amazing. And it's only $1.50. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Gold vanilla ice cream and a waffle yeah. cone. Hey, you can get two cans of this compared to one ice cream. Just think about that. There is so much for us to look at here. So, so much. So I don't even know where we're going to start. Look, oh, drugstore. <laughs> so this vending machine here, you put 1,000 yen, which is about 10 bucks in, and you could potentially win a Nintendo Switch, uh, a camera, Sony camera, anything like that, JBL speaker, or you can get absolute fuck all. This vending machine, has got crepes in it, 400 yen. So about four Aussie dollars. You get all the sweets and this one's drinks and then so on, just like the original, every other one. Now this is Electric Town. Look at all the colors, man. Absolutely wild. Where do we start? Let's go that way with the shiny lights. That way, that way. So this is an arcade. This has nine levels of gaming. So we've got four levels of prizes, three levels of music, arcades, and then video games. So let's jump in there. <laughs> we found ourselves in Harvey Norman. Yeah, now we've got the anime figures, which is what we came for to see. Now we're to, what's his worth? $16. $16. These are only $22 here. That is unbelievable. They have One Piece nail clippers. I cannot believe it. They have put anime on everything. And they've got these wooden art sculptures and stuff. This is absolutely unbelievable. That's what they look like. How cool is that? And you're also going to get houses and stuff down here. Mind you, this is just one shop. There is so much here. So many souvenirs and stuff for tourists. And it's so cheap as well. This thing is my enemy. No. That is my enemy right there. I can't get it. 200, 200 yen. yen. Hold it in. Hold it in and land it on the yellow. We can win some noodles. Ooh. Come on. Oh. I'll tell you one thing, and you can probably tell from my hair, every single clip is different. It is so humid in these stores. Like, it is so, so warm. Make sure you drink water. And uh, it's, uh, it's cold, it's a cold night outside, but once you get in these stores, it is absolutely heated. We're just inside one of the stores in Akihabara, just looking at all the anime and all that stuff. So, we're gonna keep you guys up to date, but yeah, it is so sweaty. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Every single where you walk is just an arcade with like, look, it's got seven floors. Seven floors of arcade. They got magic cards filled with like custard, and you know I have to get that. It ain't custard, it's cream, but. Let's go with the chocolate one, okay? It is mouth. With a chocolate magic card, give it a crack. But it is mouth? Yeah, it is mouth. Oh, that's hot. Ow! <laughs> Look at this. Damn, dude. Childhood is just going crazy right now. It's like the ultimate card shop. This 
to be plenty, plenty more around, but this is the first one we found. It's actually too tall for this shop. Have a look at it. The food looks absolutely incredible. Here we are at Book Off. This is a gaming thrift store, so all the heap of cheap stuff so we're inside that book. Should be filled with old school stuff, new school stuff. Yeah, as you can see, very big. This is gonna be awesome. We've got some old school Famicom games in here. 20 bucks, these would be, oh, I didn't even know. We wouldn't even know when they came out, a long, long time ago. There's a whole shelf of them, all sealed as well, so really, really good condition. There's so much stuff, switch lights, <laughs> switches, switch games, old school Nintendo stuff, new Nintendo stuff. Oh my god, because this goes on and on and on. So with that, we are going to end day four here in Akihabara. We're going to put the camera down and go enjoy ourselves a little bit. We're going to see you guys tomorrow for day five. We're not too sure what we're going to get up to. We might even get on the Shinkansen and head out to Fuji. Not too sure, but thanks for being here. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>